Uh, welcome to the Asia Cup women. It's game day one. We're in Group A and Korea and New Zealand will face it off. And what a way to start this Asia Cup. A crucial game on game day one, game one, that could have a bearing on the actual outcome of this competition. Korea, one of the most successful teams historically in Asia against New Zealand that they have beaten every single time they have played each other. And here's the schedule for Group A. Korea and New Zealand will kick us off and then China and the Lebanon will tip at 1.30 local time. Just have a look at the world rankings, the Nike FIBA world rankings. China, the second ranked team in the world. Korea at 12, New Zealand at 29, and Lebanon, a country on the rise at 44. And a country that is looking to make a big splash here in Sydney. I'm Mark Clark, and with me is Laurie Chizik. We've got both teams being introduced, uh, Laurie. And for me, this could be the best game of the day. Well, exactly what you said at the beginning, Mark. To me, this is absolutely pivotal, which is interesting given it's game one on game day one. So um, it'll be really interesting, but a lot at stake here for both teams. Well, and this New Zealand team, hardly any Asia Cup experience, really good coach, almost nothing to lose, almost with a, you should have a completely fearless attitude to the game. Absolutely, and they have only three players that are returning from uh, the Asia Cup in 2021. And as you mentioned, Guy Malloy, very, very experienced. He took charge in 2018, and he'll really want to try and showcase this team and the new players that he's brought on board. Well, we saw them practice yesterday. He's definitely looking to build a mentality in this team, and their, their mentality is really going to be pushed by a team that really does want to pressurize you and get up the floor at you. And that Korean team, even though I've said they're one of the most successful teams in Asia basket, they haven't really reached those heights in recent years, but they've got some real stars on the roster. Nice balance with some young and really experienced players. And they come to this tournament and, and they want to push. They want to push into that top four position and, and, and see if they can challenge those top teams. And they've again brought some experience from the World Cup. And as we'll talk all day long in the superstar they've brought back, G. Sue Park is with them again. Well, and they really missed her whenever she's not in the roster. She's a bit one of a kind when it comes to this Korean national team. And they build things around her. They do, Mark, and they, they, they focus on her, but she's got so many good players around her that, and that she brings out the best in her teammates. So I'm really excited today to see what this Korean team can put on the floor. Well, I'm really excited to see uh, Kim, Dambi Kim, you know, back in, in, in international basketball, possibly her last tournament. You know, she's been around for a long time now. We can talk about that more after the national anthems and the first national anthem will be the national anthem of New Zealand. Upstanding for the national anthem of New Zealand. Please remain standing for the anthem of the Republic of Korea.
Well, nothing like national anthems to remind you this is national team basketball. This is championship basketball. Players will exchange those mementos at the halfway line. And we'll get a look at the third team on the floor, the three officials. And as, as with all the teams, these are the best in this FIBA region and beyond. So their teamwork as important. Vaughn Mayberry, Kumiko Kumage, and Yana Nagoskan-Yan are the three officials who will take charge of game one, game day one, Asia Cup. Or are we going to get a look at the uh, New Zealand starting lineup? And it's about ball control and execution for me. It is, Mark, and for, for, for me as well, it's, you know, they, they've got to defend. They've got to find a way of defending uh, China, and certainly Panina Davidson is going to be really key for them. You know, she doesn't have the height, but she has the strength, and she's the most experienced team on this New Zealand team. And I'm also interested in looking, having a good look at Tapaya. She's new to this team. She's actually played with Australia before. She brings a high IQ and a strong scoring mentality as well. So look out for her. Well, that's, uh, that's a great point because, you know, she's made a choice and she's going to have to really represent and, and make a difference to this lineup and obviously for Coach Malloy as well. And I think he knows the tasks ahead of him, right? He's got an inexperienced team. He's got a very young team, and, and but he's liking molding them and working with them. He's talked about them having youth and energy and increased athleticism, and they're going to need all of that today, Mark, to get over this Korean team. Well, this Korean team was here last year in the World Cup. You saw them play, uh, maybe a little bit disappointing in the end in terms of uh, the results, only wins over Bosnia and Brazil, but here's the starting lineup. Well, they actually have seven players from the uh, World Cup uh, challenge last year, and, and one player we didn't see, but we will focus on a lot, is number seven, as I mentioned, Jisoo Park. Uh, she will be a dominant force both inside and in with her rebounding. But I like An Yin as well. You know, she can bring that extra bit of um, complementary scoring that uh, Park has. Well, that, that balance is going to be really important. And their guard play is really quick. Uh, they really do. They might try and speed you up, yeah? Well, that's, they, they've got a terrific transition game. They push the ball every single time. They reward their bigs for running out there. They play a lot of uh, five out. However, with Park on the floor, they'll, they'll certainly have an inside presence. But it's about that speed and it's about that quickness. And can New Zealand defend it? While well, we're in the Tissot countdown to tip off one minute before we get this championship underway. And just to remind you, there's a the, the first goal is obviously winning this championship, but the second goal for teams here is the opportunity for Olympic qualification. And this is the first step on the road to Paris for teams that come out of this Asia Cup. So both coaches, last minute instruction and it'll be interesting to see who establishes tempo in today's game. Reasonable number of people have made the early uh, early tip time. Four games a day here in Sydney. It'll be really important for New Zealand to come out with a strong start, sort of send a message that we're not going to take a backward step. We're going to really try and work and, and control the tempo of Korea because we know, as I said, that they will get out and they will run. I think that's such, that's such a great point in terms of them not taking a backward step. That's That physical challenge and that mental challenge is going to be inter interesting to watch. And uh, wherever you're watching this from home, I don't think you'll have to look hard to see a New Zealand team that always wants to be on the front foot. Korea just taking a little bit of time. And we're just moments away from getting this Asia Cup underway. I wonder if everybody has a little bit of nerves, the coaches, the players, the, the referees even, just given it's that you. first game. And me and you. And you and I as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome everybody to Sydney. New Zealand in their traditional, should we say, black. And career in the white. And the Asia Cup in 2023 is just about to get underway. And Korea will get a look at it in the half court. 
Chen Yang Lee gets it into the half court. They're going to go inside, first time down. That's not a surprise, but the mid-range jump shot is short. New Zealand clear it up and look to run. I like how New Zealand are pushing it straight away. Now they get into the half court. They're going to turn down a pick and roll. Penetration of foul. And there's your, there's your not taking a back foot. That's getting at it. Exactly. And Tupaya, while she's not got really quick foot speed, she uses her body really well. She's really crafty at getting herself to the basket. Like a walker will inbound and receive. Takes the ball screen, gets to the elbow, stops and pops and knocks it down for two. Good decision to have a pull-up jump shot there rather than trying to go all the way to the basket and perhaps getting it blocked. Career at the tempo, as you'd expect. Trying to be quick, trying to push. Park outside, that's a travel. That's a nice start for New Zealand. It is a nice, nice, easy, not easy basket, a nice solid basket and then a stop at the other end. So this inexperienced New Zealand lineup into the half court. A lot of pick and roll in practice that we saw yesterday, trying to exploit any switch from this uh, Korean lineup. Davidson outside, moves it on as a walker. Gets in that little hole again, nice kick. Reed attacks the closeout, goes with a flow to his short, gets her own and goes back up for two. Nice basket, nice baseline drive and then following it up, being persistent on that miss, getting that O board and a nice little finish. Lee in the half court will go to Park out top to hit the second side. Open side pick and roll, Park little short Jump shot is long. Great work on the glass, though. That's a tremendous rebound by Yihan, by Park Yihan. And both teams are going to have to be really aware that they want to try and get that contested shot one and done. No offensive rebounds. Because if you give either of these teams that second chance opportunity, they're probably going to hurt you. Career with a 14 second reset. Goes inside Park with a nice tack, is fouled. And she was triple teamed on the catch, but he's big enough, strong enough to go back up. And literally that pass was just thrown into the air and hoping that she would get it. She's got lovely hands, she can finish, she can grab it. And you could just see that swarming defense around her. Park Ji Su on the free throw line, trying to tick it over for Korea. I think she knew the minute she let go of that one, it wasn't going down. And comes up empty. Again, New Zealand push. Leisure Walker outside will try and open it out. Davidson bringing Park right to the three point line. Beck will hand it off. Deep on the clock, and have to come up with something to the inside. Davidson with a little reverse wow. layup. That is a great basket over GC Park. Jusu Park, sorry. And New Zealand resume and get it. And Tapaya from the three. Not quite on this time. But New Zealand will retain possession. You've got to love this start, right? They're just aggressive. They're taking good shots. It's uh, like watching them practice yesterday. They were very, very aggressive in practice. And they're putting that out of here on the floor. End line possession. Tapaya will come off the stack. Ledger Wilson again, same. Ledger Walker comes off the ball screen, gets to the elbow, stops and fires that little short jump shot and looks really sweet. Timeout career, and that's a super start by New Zealand. It sure is. That'll really help build their confidence, and their challenge for them will be can they do that for the full 40 minutes of the game? Well, going to get an opportunity after you see this replay to take a listen to career in that timeout. But uh, Clarissa Ledger Walker has started this game with so much confidence.
가격이 너무 사람을 찾아. 빨리 그냥 보인들 죽음 움직이고 죽음 움직이고 하라고. 자꾸 세워서 뭘 5대5로 하려고 하지 말고. 좀더 정확하게 슛을 쏘라고. Well, nothing too. Uh, I, I think they're just reassessing, just restating what they're what they're good at. They shouldn't panic. They just had to stop that momentum, though. They didn't. They probably talked a little bit, maybe, about that uh, what they want to do in that pick and roll. If she's going to pull up on that, they need to make an adjustment because she's looked very comfortable with that. So coming out of the timeout, New Zealand show some full court pressure. Park Ye Hunt. Sorry, Korea yeah. are so experienced that they they will. There's no question they'll get back into this game. The open three is good. Straight out of the timeout, and they get something they want as Kang knocks down the three. Reed will move it on. They had a second side early again. They do a nice job on the ball reversal. Davidson out top. Could be aggressive here, puts it on the floor, tries to create, gets to the ring for two. That was pretty good defense, I have to say, but look at the push of Korea. Well, they get the transition rebound. The mid-range two is uh, rushed and not balanced, and Lee can't knock it down, and here come New Zealand again. And Ledger Walker's looked accomplished as an understatement. Gets it again out top. They're gonna milk this pick and roll. Davidson with a short roll here, gets it on the ring to two. And Park, Park Jisoo looks uh, a little frustrated because at the moment she's really, her defense is being really exposed. It's been really tested by Davidson who's mm. going up strongly and getting the finishes. Park outside will back it out, five on the possessions. You have to take the three, is short. That's a great box out. And New Zealand with Reed again. They'll give it up and run. Goes strong, throws up a tough one. That's probably the first time they're taking a bad one. Korea will go inside. Huxi Ju, far side of the ring, will kick. Pass to the inside. Huxi Ju, not really balanced, can't make the two. And New Zealand worked hard enough to Secure possession. It was a nice cut off the off the ball, a good action by Ji Hung Park, but uh, just a little bit. Uh, I thought perhaps she should have shot it rather than kick it out to her teammate. They just look a little bit out of rhythm right now, Korea. Well, one person who definitely looks in rhythm is uh, Clarissa Ledger Walker. Gets it into the half court. Dalton gets a first action, will move it. So Walker in her own time, in her own space, gets what she wants, comes off the ball screen again, stops and pops the three, that's off, and Dalton off the bench, keeps it alive, but Korea bring it down and push. See, Dalton did a really good job there of picking up the ball, trying to slow it down at least. Korea will just about hang on to it. They've given him a 24 reset. But the ball will go to New Zealand. And if there's hustle and outworking plays, it's New Zealand that are coming up with those in these first five minutes of this one. Dalton. Crystal Walker, they're letting it really make decisions here in New Zealand. Penetrates, takes a tough one off the glass, doesn't get it to go, gets her own rebound straight up for two. She's having a game. Well, Korea are really going to have to think about that because they can't afford, you know, New Zealand clearly are going after the offensive boards. Well, Ledger Walker will foul on the closeout. It's only the second team foul for New Zealand. Ledger Walker will sit. And Ledger Walker will come in. Yeah, it's an easy piece. Of, that's an easy one for us. So. Charlize going off and Crystal Ledger Walker coming in. Well, Charlize, well, Charlize has actually stayed. They've, oh. So. 
I think she thought she was having yeah, a sub. She, she was heading to the bench as well, but uh, Beck, Stella yeah. Beck, came off. Park Jihan stops, fires the three, is long. It's a rebound on the defensive end by David Sanu. Is the other part of this great start by New Zealand. Dalton, he's all action. Ledger Walker needs a pass. Dalton again is the person who comes to give her that pass. Got to get a shot up. Oh, nice pass. Wow. Super, super work by Davidson. Maybe I was kind on calling it a pass, <laughs> but. Uh, Regardless, a good finish by Davidson. Quick release on the three now, is good. Oh. That is what we've become used to seeing with Korea. What a release. Well, she had, was it? Kang had 17 points a game in the World Cup and can literally fill it up. Here's Ledger Walker, comes off the stagger. And Dalton outside. Davidson wants it. Going to work in the block. He's going one-on-one, -on -one, fills the double team, has to go up a tough one, and manufactures a great finish. Well, I think she's recognized. GC Park, Jisoo Park is off. Give me the ball, let me go to work inside. 18-6, it's under three to go in quarter one. And that's the second or third time they've been really punished on the closeout New Zealand as uh, Tapia picks up the personal. She'll go to the bench. Reed will come straight back. So will Beck. So New Zealand will take a timeout with 2.45 to go in quarter one. And that's just a great start. I think it's a good timeout too, Guy. You know, if they, you don't want Korea starting to to start getting hot at the three-point line, so I'm sure he'll be addressing that. Well, let's take a listen. Okay, you have to settle down offensively because yeah. you're cutting into the space of other people. Work hard for our space. Okay, they have six points because we stopped the chase on two pin-down screens on the snitches, right? So don't expect that off the ball that that's going to get switched on to. Remember on pin-downs, so number three hit one coming that way. Right, so Sharp, we just don't want to lose the concentration. And Stella, they, she had one on the stagger where she went that way and you were expecting the switch. Right, so we've got to talk to each other and chase hard. That's been the only way they've scored so far. Taraz back in the four. I want to see Taylor and Stella getting out to the corners. All right, and keep in our flow. We've got to find our spacing. Now, when we get into the pick here, Work on this one. If it's not an unders, then get to the second side. You've got to love the side. tone of this timeout, regardless of the information. And, and this is a, it's, it's just done a really nice job at refocusing. Absolutely. And both teams, you know, they come out now. There's, there's 245 left. Certainly for New Zealand's point of view, they want to try and at least maintain or extend this margin. And, and Korea... They need to just chip away, get back into a little bit of rhythm. We've seen a couple of good three-point shots uh, and, and, you know, feel confident going into ending this quarter. So 14 seconds on the possession. Career on the sideline. Got an opportunity during that timeout to draw something up, both for the out-of-bounds and you'd expect, expecting a score to see what they might show defensively. Nice penetration down the middle. Little dump off, Park goes up to two, all about the penetration. Park gets the finish, Lee gets the assist. Great draw of the defense, a nice finish by Park. Ledger yeah. Wilson again, Reed will hit the second side. Dalton, who's been all activity since she's uh, entered the game. Davidson goes now goes deep on the roll. Dalton attacks the closeout in the lane to Davidson for two. That's a finish. That looked like the same mirror play, a bit of penetration, draw the defense. Give it to your big and a nice finish by Davidson. Park, long two, and there's a holding foul. And New Zealand in the penalty. Korea will go to the free throw line. That's something that Korea are so good at, spreading the floor, then making cuts off the ball, reading that, getting the ball through hands. The tempo, so it's good to watch, isn't it? It's just the activity is, is just... Well, it's, it's great for fans to watch the ball move that quickly. And really two contrasting styles. New Zealand very much, you know, getting it through hands, being very um, patient in what they're doing. 
and they're doing it so well at the moment. They have the 20 to 8 lead. Kaylee Sue on, Sue on the three throw line makes the first. And she's probably been the only Korean offensively that has looked in rhythm. Well, as you mentioned, 17 points per game at the World Cup, played an average of 29 minutes and is really crucial to this Korean team. Well, she goes two for two. New Zealand with the and Davidson is just if she's going to put in a big shift in every game at the moment she's been exceptional. As Walker with the tough reverse layup doesn't get it to go and career off to the races. Wow. Great pass off the glass for two. So much patience. Good court vision from all the Korean players to kick that ball ahead and a strong finish. Ledger Walker of the. Crystal Variety gets it into the half court. Davidson now almost acting as the point guard. And that's a turnover. And with, uh, without Tapir and uh, Clarissa Ledger, Ledger Walker on the floor, they've lost their way a little bit. Tapir comes back in. Anne will, Anne will uh, advance it. Down screen releases Kim. The step back tough three is way short. I have to say, Talia Tupaya did a good job of keeping her player in front of her because she's quick and uh, she managed to stay nice and low in the stance keep her lateral movement and uh, did a good job there defensively. Well, Tapia now brings it the other way. And again, Davidson is involved in almost every offensive action. Reed Dalton breaks the defense down, needs a pass. Davidson again at the high post and is going to draw the foul. And Davidson is going to put, if they look so reliant on her. Touches on every possession almost, not just to score. She's going to release it out of bounds. She'll hand it off to Pia. We'll get Beck coming through, but takes it to the ring. And Park comes up with a steal and leads the break. Nice handle. And career go back to her in the block. Park going baseline for two, blows the. The power layup, it stays with the play, and Kareek at the offensive rebound. The deep three is long, and Park, and that's a battle on the glass, and Park putting in a shift, and Career will retain possession. You don't mind shooting that real long-range three when you have somebody like uh, Jisoo Park in there with those long arms trying to get the offensive rebounds. So 10.5 on the quarter time. Park with a mid-range two is way short and she just hasn't found a range in six seconds for New Zealand and they had a foul to give and that's uh, smart and why wouldn't it be smart by Kim Danby? You heard Guy Malloy talk in that timeout that they're they're okay with giving those contested mid-range shots to Jisoo Park. I, I think they want to try and big ass to keep her away from the basket. Davidson's got to go up, goes to the middle, jump hook is short. She got it away and she'll be disappointed she didn't make it. And that will do it for the first quarter. And New Zealand, after a great start, lead this one 20 to 12. Seventy-one percent from the two. That's a great start for New Zealand. Well, you wouldn't ask for a better start with that. And, and I, I'm a, I must say, I'm a little bit surprised. I, I think with the insertion of their big player Jisoo Park, that they haven't shot as many threes as I thought that Korea normally do, and, and with such efficiency. But wow, didn't we see a great start and really a great quarter from New Zealand? They came out, didn't take a backward step, 
were really strong with their high pick and roll and, and pull ups and, and just a bit of a highlight reel for New Zealand following up with their second shots as we can see there. Uh, took a little while for, for Korea to settle into their game, but wow, Davidson, really, really influential. 12 points for the quarter. Well, you talked a lot about it when we saw them practice yesterday. They, I mean, they literally do build it all around her. And they have to, you yeah. know, she's their most experienced player. She's the big, she's got good finishing inside and we can see that nice little penetration and, and dish and a, and a strong finish by, by Korea. And, and they're gonna wanna have to do a little bit more of that. I think they've been a bit hesitant in what they do and maybe, maybe they have focused a little bit too much on their big and it's taken away from some of the other players and what they can do. But I'm sure they'll make adjustments and uh, interested to see what they bring in this second quarter. Well, you saw the, uh, if you want to watch any of these games, it's on the Courtside app. You just saw the QR code come up on your screen and the Courtside app, not just this tournament, but every FIBA competition and a lot, lot more. And uh, highlights as well as live action. Check that out. Download the app by your normal means. And New Zealand, after starting the game 8-0, still have the eight-point advantage. Ledger Walker back in the game, sees the drive lane, takes it, doesn't make the layup, and Park Jin Su comes down with a rebound. And I don't mind the foul. Ledger Walker picks up the personal, but uh, Her Ching Un was really demanding the ball on that rebound. She wanted to get it and go. She's got an opportunity now to advance the ball. Korea try and space it. Park gets it on the short corner, faces. They're leaving it one on one. Davison just does a great job, but Park can't finish. And Beck will advance it. Tapia comes off that little drag type screen. Dav Davidson will come back. Pier on a reposition, looks to try and get deep. And the ball will stay with New Zealand with five on the possession. Took a bang, I think she may have, the way it looks, it's one of those times you think she may have dislocated it. She's gone straight to the bench. She didn't, she went straight there, clutching at that shoulder straight away. Oh, it's a shoulder, yeah. Oof. Got a bang to that on the replay. And I think if my memory serves me correctly, she's had an injury in the past that kept her out for a while with, um, with that shoulder. Let's hope it's just uh, one of those stingers. Well, she's so important to this. Uh, Dalton has it blocked. Great work by Ledge Walker again. She's a player. She wants to play. Great work on the glass. Gets the two on the putback. Well, Charlize Walker... Uh, Ledger Walker, she actually plays uh, at Washington State. She's a senior at Washington State University. And, and as you say, she can play. And uh, Kim Danby gives the official a look that only a 33-year-old veteran can. <laughs> in 2011, she made a debut for this national team, and she's been a star. Well, she put retirement on hold yeah. to, to come to this tournament. Well, if they could make an Olympic tournament as well as medal here, what a way to finish a, just a tremendous career. Walker on the penetration. Reed has to secure it. Five on the possession. Reed tries to go to the ring for two. That's tough. Through traffic. Park gets it in the low block. Mismatch with Reed, but goes to the pass. And they try and manufacture a difficult one when Park had the mismatch to go to work on. Dalton. Great effort. Dalton really coughed it up. Here's behind the back. Park is challenged by Davidson. She's a bit frustrated. Yeah. She's not getting any calls that she feels should be going her way. Reed in transition, attacks the space on the closeout, doesn't get it, but Davidson on the glass, keeps it alive. And New Zealand with a full team. 
Reggie Walker stops and pops from two and kisses it off the window. <laughs> Guy Malloy would just have to be so happy with his charges right now and the way they're playing, the way they are taking it at them, not, not being afraid, not going, well, you're a superstar, you're taller, you're quicker, doesn't matter, I'm going at you. Well, 26 to 12, Korea take the timeout and they have some questions to answer. Still a load of time left in the game. But New Zealand looking incredibly confident. Let's take a listen to the Korean timeout. Taylor, I can't believe we've just seen a stat that we are 13 minutes almost into a game and Korea have taken 1-3. I know, that's exactly right. That's what I was saying. It's 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 uncharacteristic of them. They're they're, you know, great three-point shooters at the at the World Cup last year, just last year, they shot 35%, but they took 28 shots a game, 28 threes a game, and we see one right now. And and the other thing is that uh, Park isn't exactly posting up and, and working people. She's settling for that mid-range jump shot, which she's, I, I know she's a quality player and she would make it, but she's not making, Davidson's going to play 30-plus minutes here. So she's not really yeah, making her work. Yeah, yeah. Well, Korea with some questions to answer. Down 14, super start to this second quarter. Korea now seven on the possession. They're going to settle for that mid-range jumper again. And Davidson picks up the foul. And if there's one thing that Coach Malloy will be concerned about, it's Davidson getting any into any foul trouble. Well, she's just been absolute. I don't think she's subbed off yet, has no. she? No. So she's, um, you know, she's doing it at both ends of the floor, having to defend and also being their top scorer at the moment. Park again settles for the mid range, can't get it to go. Super work. They're going to have to go over the back, I think. It was a little. The important thing is that they get the call correct and the. Uh, yeah, that was just a great block out. Oh, super. And you have to think, the, the New Zealanders right now are, are doing all the little things really well. So, so they're, they're blocking out, they're slowing down the ball on transition. Defensively, they're keeping their players in front, and it's, it's showing on the scoreboard with 12 points. And Reed is fouled, and they're doing that so well. Attacking those closeouts, Reed gets fouled. Foul will be on the floor, I believe, and... New Zealand will be on the sideline. That's a little bit, uh, you know, with you, you look at Korea's defense and, and when it comes to containment, they're giving their opponent too many options. They're not restricting what they can do or where they go. Well, two, see the, three zone. Yep. Huge gap that Reed gets into. A little floater for two. And Reed. It's, all, it's another way. Well, in fact, everyone in a black shirt is having a nice game. Park Ji Han turns it over. Dalton and Reed two on one. Dalton goes herself. He's fouled. And the one thing you can say about Tyler Dalton is she has been out working since she's worked since she's walked into the game. And that's I think really mark the the basis of this game right now and the score line that we see is that new zealand simply are out hustling out working you could hear them talking on the defensive end through our headphones i could hear them uh you know they're just they're switched on they're energetic uh and and they've come out with a real purpose well dalton on the free throw line could be an 18 point, well, it won't be an 18 point game now, but uh, if she makes this, it'll be a 17 point lead. I didn't see a script that said New Zealand would be 17 <laughs> up with 6.30 to go in the half. Maybe it's too soon to be 17 up or 16 up perhaps, but uh, here come Korea. 
Tim Danby. Little hesitation. Turns those shoulders. Foul line jump shot is no good. And they have taken jump shot after jump shot after jump shot. Reed, great move to the ring and one. So we talk about Korea and their great transition game. Well, right now, New Zealand's flipped the script and attacking and, and Reed. Yes, there was a defender there, but it was a real one-on-one. -on -one. It was a good decision to drop that shoulder, go up hard, get your head up and finish. And one. Well, Reed has nine personal and has been doing all sorts of good things. Kim Danby faces and moves the ball. Park gets it in the block. He just wanted to go to work. Goes inside, can't finish. And she is getting no love, should we say, from the official. That was a tough move. A lot of contact on the way up. An 11-0 start to the second quarter. They started the game 8-0. And now I've gone 11-0. There's only one team that's ticking it over. Wide open, three in the corner, way short. Well executed play to get that wide open three. And that's the shot they need to take. And that's the shot we're used to seeing them take. Beck. Reed will back cut. Ledger Walker once, but doesn't get. Now she has it. Still in this. It's pretty matchup zone like. Five Gaunt. seconds. Walker. Wow. She's in a different place to everybody else at the moment. The patience that they're showing to make that extra pass, to get a wide open look, and the, and the, the confidence they're playing with right now. Park gets to the middle, goes back to the jump hook, and just can't get anything going. Better move that time. Better Strong. move, and that, you know, she got herself her position deep into the block and deep in there, made a nice move, and she would be so frustrated because that's a shot she would normally make with her eyes closed. Yep. And that's the way, if it's not working at the offensive end, make it happen defensively, and you go to your veteran, and Kim Danby gets the two in transition, points off defense for Korea, and that breaks that drought. See if that lifts Korea at all in their energy levels. A steal like that often can. Reed at the high, block, high post is fouled on the rip through. I feel like Korea defensively are just not, uh, they're too loose with what they're doing. So that, that middle catch was really early and then it was just a reach to try and stop the, the drive. And, and so there needs to be more talk. There needs to be more effort, I believe, just, just to make sure that they're pressuring the ball a little bit more, that the, the feeds inside at least are, are harder to make, harder to see. So they're on five fouls already with four minutes, 25 to go. And the way New Zealand's attacking them, they could find themselves at the line for a little bit this second half of the quarter. Well, Reed continues to impress, makes the first of the throws. Uh, Reed will take a well earned rest on the bench. Leaves the court with 10 points and 10, uh, sorry, six rebounds. It's just, what numbers, they're great, aren't they? What Unbelievable. A, Davidson, after playing the whole of this half, now leads the break off the steal and will earn them from the free throw line, but I don't, I don't see Davidson leaving the floor no. at the moment. <laughs> I agree. The thing about Davidson and where she's developed her game is that she now has that, that poise. In the past, she would, you know, get that ball and, and, and just sort of hope it goes in and, and now she's really worked on her craft of finishing strongly. You could see in that in that play there, she used her body. She initiated the contact so that she had control and gets herself to the foul line. Makes a second. 
I, I, I just love the, just their effort is uh, just phenomenal. Park, nice pass, tough one off the glass. Is no good. Park's on the glass, can't get it. And again, another opportunity on New Zealand to offer their defense. And Davidson again leads the break, gets it deep, is blocked, and Park is having to match that effort. Comes back and gets the block. You can see that uh, Tupai is back on the court with her shoulder strapped. Great work on the glass, Parks foul. That's a bad number for New Zealand. Lego Walker picks up a third foul. And New Zealand will take the timeout. And the, that's probably the only negative we've seen for New Zealand in this first half. Lego Walker picking up a third. New Zealand take a timeout. Okay, doing lots of things well defensively. Remember, we want to complete our possessions, girls. We've got to box out. All right, so this time out is really doing everything right that we need to do. This is about just catching our breath because we want to go hard here for the last three and a half minutes. All right, don't give them any confidence going into the half. So we've got the matchups and how we're playing everyone really correct. All right. Um, the only other thing I would say is that if we get a red and then the ball moves away from you, try and red back. You know, you red back and pump the guard back out so we get back to a better matchup. All right, now we have to keep our uh, foul discipline through the last three and a half minutes. If they stay in the zone, treat it like drops or run zone cross. Okay, here we go. Come on. Three and a half minutes. Go harder. Great that uh, Tapia is back in the game. I, I and mean, you made the point. I mean, they, with Walker, Ledger Walker in foul trouble, they desperately need her back in the game. Well, they certainly do. And, and as I mentioned, Tupia has such a high basketball IQ, so she can she can organize, she can see the right decisions to make, she can run that team. Uh, because we know how Ledger Walker's done a sensational yep. job. Career out of bounds, struggle to get it in. Do. Okay, nice pass and Park gets oh, it at the ring. She'll have a sigh of relief. Finally, oh. something relatively easy <laughs> came her way. She finished. Still show this uh, active matchup zone, but there is huge space at the high post. Reed will kick it to Pi. Looks down low. Park getting it down at both ends. That's just a mark of how good she is. It's not going for her, but she's working penetration and that's out of bounds I have to say I'm impressed with with we know what a superstar she is things haven't gone well this half where she's missed some shots that she should she's getting you know th three p defenders on her at once but she's still going hard she's still doing the right things Beck and Reed combined in the backcourt Tapia has it Beck Tapia will take the ball screen against this zone Gets to the foul line, nowhere to go, needs to pass. Great cut, Beck with a pull up is no good. Davidson's all over the glass, has to put it up and doesn't. And everything was uh, was good for New Zealand, but they can't get the shot up. I just thought that uh, zone for Korea was, since that last time out, just a little bit more aggressive and proactive. They weren't just sort of standing around, they were putting a bit more heat on the ball. In the half court, Kim Danby outside the three-point line. Needs it, doesn't get it back. They leave her open for three. That's a dangerous thing to do. But Davidson again clears up the mess on the glass. Pierre will take the ball screen. Davidson just doesn't stop working. Pierre can't get the three to go. Park takes care of business on the glass. And Korea again trying to push. Park with the trail, turns down the mid-range this time. 
Number five, Her Chi Young. She is so quick and energetic and wants the ball. Well, New Zealand had a foul to give, so it'll just be an, a possession on the end line for Korea. Korea will just be looking to win the last 150, right? Trying to get this a little, some momentum going into the halftime break as Dalton comes back and she's been excellent off that bench. Park, again, mid-range, Davidson. Just plays super defense, but uh, Park finishes. Pierre gets in that little spot to Davidson. Looks a little tired on that left hand and career off to the races again. Kim Danby attacks it off the glass, doesn't get it. Parks on the boards for the putback. Wow, you see how quickly that can change the momentum. They are out and running. They're looking for quick shots. The bigs are running hard. Reaching foul to Pierre will go to the three. Well, Korea still have two fouls to give. No, she'll be going to the going to the yeah. line. I th the board here says you're right. The board here says like team fouls, but the the graphic here doesn't show it. So apologies for that. First is good. New Zealand could walk into the halftime break with a 19 point lead. If you'd have offered that to them at the start of the game, they'd have bitten your hand off for it. <laughs> Here's and he gets a feet set, doesn't take the three, they skip it and be in the corner. Kim Danby is short and Davidson and Park are just going at it on the glass. Kim Danby stops, pops the little two, is good. Korea really want to look at coming up with another stop here and, and giving themselves another opportunity to score. Nice pass for the easy two, all about the pass, and you said it, what, da that's a great IQ play. Davidson is finishing on both hands, either side of the basket, reverse, you name it, she's doing it. In the corner, wide open, 4-3 is good. New Zealand want to make sure they have just one shot. Don't give Korea any opportunity to come down again. It's safe into Paya's hands. Stops and pops the two is short. Davidson can't secure it. Dalton keeps it alive, but that'll do it. That is as good a half of basketball as New Zealand could have dreamt of at the half, at the half time. New Zealand lead this one 41 to 25 over Korea. Well, going to get a look at the stats, Laurie, and, and they're just all good New Zealand. Well, amazing. <laughs> they certainly are. Again, 57%. And uh, again, the amazing stat was that three-point shooting from, from Korea. They're up to 12 now, so they certainly looked at taking a little bit more. But, you know, both teams have taken the ball, taken care of the ball relatively well. And there you see the top scorers, Davidson, Charlize, Ledger, Walker, and Reed, all in double figures. I mean, it's... The thing that's going to come out of these best plays is, is how how great New Zealand were at the beginning of the game. So you said, don't take a backward step. They were just on the front foot for the whole half. Well, they are. They, they, they were for that whole half, and, and they didn't. You can just see Reed attacking, not being afraid, not, not going, well, you guys are superstars. I'm not going in there. Smart plays by Charlize Ledger Walker off that high pick and roll and, and, and that pull-up jump shot. I just feel like New Zealand are really reading the defense well. They're taking what they're given. They're not trying to force things. They're not trying to make things up. But just an example there of, of Reed taking it hard to the basket. Again, eyes were up strongly. Uh, you know, it's, it's so good to see, and they're playing like such a team. 
Well, the only negative is the three fouls on Ledger Walker. Right. And we did see Tupaya go off with a bit of a shoulder injury. She did came back, come back on. Although I was looking at her face and I did see her grimace a few times, but they certainly need, need her on the court. I thought for Korea, they got into a little bit of rhythm maybe that last two minutes, looking at some of the baskets that were a little bit easier for, for G Park Sue. She's worked so hard and has had such little reward. It was good to see at the end for her, she was able to finish. Well, they brought the veteran back as well. Now, Kim Danby was instrumental in that break. But uh, that's the first half done with. Super performance by New Zealand. We're going to take a break, and we'll see you soon for the second half here from Sydney. Unique character. Unique chemistry. FIFA Basketball World Cup is the peak of the game. It's the toughest competition in the basketball world to win. That is why I will be there. Because when you win for one, you win for all.
Well, welcome back. You join us back here in Sydney with a look at the top scorers for both teams. And no one has had a bigger impact on this game than Penina Davidson. 15 points, 70% from the floor. And at both ends of the floor, she has been the real catalyst for this uh, New Zealand team. Well, Laurie. She's, she's not only, you know, scoring herself, but by, by being that screener on the high pick and roll and the decisions that she's making out of that, she's facilitating other scores in, in, in Charlize Ledger Walker as well. But she has been absolutely sensational in that first half and, and didn't come off. We'll see her fitness, I'm sure, will be tested because she is banging bodies at the other end with uh, Jisoo Park. Uh, Jisoo Park, let's just say, 4 for 15 is way beneath what you'd expect, but she stayed with it. She did, and, and you know, the scary thing is that she, she had eight points. What's she going to do this second half? Maybe it's, you know, getting back into this to playing at this speed, this level with the with national team and, and uh, against New Zealand, who came out just so focused. But she will, I have no doubt, come back and, and uh, be ready to go this next half and, and really be an influence. We saw her take some mid-range shots, which really weren't going down for her. And, and I think she really needs to work hard to create her position, get deep in the block and, and um, really try and utilize her strength that way. Well, if she takes 15 shots, she's not going to go four for 15, is she? No, no. And you could just see the end of that half that her confidence was just starting to build. Well, Korea will definitely need a better than four for 15 performance from their superstar. And uh, there's a fair number of uh, Korean fans, a few Korean flags in the gym. Great thing about Sydney here is going to be a number of different teams that are going to get good support. There are. They're always supporting, um, you know, they're, they're basketball mad fans here from lots of different um, countries and, and supporting. And so it's great that they get this opportunity. We had it nine months ago when the World Cup was in Sydney and to get it again with the Asia Cup, the FIBA Women's Asia Cup here back again. They'll already have had a little taste and know what, what they're uh, going to be in for. So this Korean team, I mean, they, they, you know, they started man for man and they would have... Yeah, they're, uh, and they went to that zone. But uh, you mentioned that you thought they'd got a little bit more physical in that zone, in particular in, in the latter part of the first half. Well, I thought they needed to be more active in it. So, so active hands so that the passing, the entry passes into that wide open middle position were a little bit more challenged out there. And, and you know, as that ball is moved around, as you want to do when you break a zone, get it inside, get it back out, that there's just more pressure on it to make it difficult so that the New Zealand team are having to think about defense rather than just, this is what we want, this is where we want the ball, and this is how we're going to score. Well, they're out early. They, they've they been in that locker room, made the point, get straight out there. They've given up 41 points, and that's not really Korean-like. Well, I would have thought that that's, you know, something that, that coach Su Min Chung will be talk, would have been talking about at halftime, that, that they've really got to ramp up their defense. And, and in order to get New Zealand off their game, that, that, that's got to come at the defensive end. They've got to make sure that they're, you know, putting up some shots, some more contested shots, that they are physical with them. I mean, there's, they, they've only shot one three, or sorry, four three-pointers. Uh, New Zealand so the rest is inside the paint and they're finishing and so you can't let that happen with the team No, and it's Davidson more than anybody else uh, New Zealand back out on the floor as well Davidson for me I mean played 20 minutes Garden Park and anyone else that yeah. came off the bench and so she said the toughest defensive assignment and she's still down the other end banging around and finishing plays at 70% she just I mean I knew she was a good player but she looks outstanding well, she's, you know, the last, well, quite a few years, she's she's played in Australia uh, for a Melbourne-based team. Guy Malloy was actually her coach at club level um, in, uh, in in Melbourne. And so she's used to what he wants, and, and he's developed her, and she's brought all her goods to this um, New Zealand national team. And she is their most experienced player. 
Well, in the other, the other, the, well, obviously the other player that's really impressed was uh, Ledger Walker, and her foul trouble could, well, it's just not, I say the undoing, but could be a real, it could be a, a thing that Malloy has to deal with somehow in this uh, second half if she picks up a full foul quickly, in particular. Yeah, he'll, she certainly won't. And that should be a strategy of Korea. They should go after her. They should actually be going after Davidson a little bit more to see if they can, you know, put her in a little foul trouble, but. One thing I like about Charlize Ledger-Walker, she actually played uh, 3x3 in the 2019, won a silver medal, was named in the All-Star 3 team, and it's the first time New Zealand has ever won a medal, any team, at a, at a FIBA event. So I think that 3x3 for her probably helped her, her confidence in the way we can see the way she moves and the way she you know, gets to the basket. Um, so. That's, uh, uh, she has been really impressive. Oh, uh, I, in some ways so impressive because she's had, she's made some, she started the game. She was the person that really got them that ribbon. Those look, those two pull up jumpers. She make them, everyone else look really comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing, it's, it's and it, conversely for, for Korea, it's, it's contagious either way. So Korea looked a little bit, you know, tentative that first half, especially that first quarter. And, and that can be infectious just as much as the reverse where the confidence flows when when Charlize Ledger Walker makes a great basket. Davidson's doing what she's, uh, it just lifts everybody. So what Korea need to do is, you know, get Jisung Park, Jisoo Park back on track, get their three point shooting. And I tell you what, they can change the score like that and that will go a long way in, in swinging momentum. Well, players going to the bench. We're only a minute and a half away from the start of the second half. We said right at the beginning of the game how important, amazingly important, uh, a, a game day one, game one matchup is. I mean, top two from the group go, <coughs> go through, and the winner of this game is in real control of their destiny. It is, and that, that top two finish, you know, they've got China in this group, and, and that's going to be a, a very hard game. They've got Lebanon. You can't take any team for granted, but you want to finish in that top two so that your crossover with the other pool come the tippy end of the tournament is um, maybe a little less daunting than if you finish third. Well, that, that point about the potential chance to get to an Olympic Games, New Zealand have been to a number of Olympic Games, but not recently. So a huge opportunity for them. That they can't guarantee it, but that really takes a big step towards that. Absolutely. In fact, New Zealand haven't been to an Olympic game since 2004. So that's something they've just been trying. And, and I know in these Asia Cups, they, they've finished fifth for a number of years. They've in 2021, 2019. So they just want to try and get to that next level. Well, just before both teams come out, you saw again that uh, courtside QR code and the courtside app. Just check it out if you want to find out about any action in this tournament and any tournament around the world, a FIBA tournament around the world and other leagues. Check out that app, various options. But uh, if you want to stay on track with what's going on, get the courtside app. So start of this second half. It's not quite a hole, but uh, Korea up against this. Trail 41-25. They have possession at the start of this second half. And they just have to really build on the momentum they had at the end of that first half. Kim Denby is going to come off the double. Gets it. Puts it on the floor. Drops it inside. That's so well executed for two. So well executed. They forced the switch there. Massive mismatch for Jisoo Park, and uh, she was able to finish easily. They're staying in that zone. Well, they settle for a quick one. Reed can't get it to go. And in transition. Attack the closeout. Stop. Pop. Don't get it to drop. Reed comes down with a defensive rebound. Needs a pass. Davidson will... Get it to Beck. Ball doesn't stick to Peer. Moves it on. Aloy trusting Ledger Walker. Four on the clock. It's got to go up. And Reed squares it up. Gets her feet set. Knocks it down for three. A lot of poise showed by the New Zealand team there. No panic as the clock was ticking down. Nice extra pass to that corner. 
Kim Danby. If ever they needed her experience to come through, she's already made the assist first time up. Penetration stop off the glass for two is good, and uh, Korea offensively has started with some nice rhythm. Reed, who's having a game at the moment, inside and out. Tapia will take the ball screen from Davidson, gets to the elbow. Ledger Walker lifts, five on the clock. Tapia's got to put it up, does she know? Puts it on the floor, just about gets it away, hits nothing. Chance for Korea to run again, and they have numbers. And to the ring, and that's the shot they have to make. They do, that would have really lifted everybody's uh Oh, confidence. Ledger Walker gets to the middle on the full screen. Reed again attacks the seam, is blocked. And Park becoming more of a factor as this game develops. Kang goes back door, doesn't receive. Kim Danby's taking over the game at the moment. Park can't finish. Feels a little contact, doesn't get a whistle. Ledger Walker in transition, doesn't like it. And Davidson, for the first time probably, wasn't rewarded for running the floor. At the back of the hand, the quick release on the three, hits nothing but the side of the ring. And here come Career again. Tempo really picked up. Kim Danby, I won. So you see right now how it's shifted. New Zealand are, are having trouble against that zone. The, the, the Koreans now are forcing them to shoot more outside. They've clogged up that middle so that driving lane isn't there as much. They've taken some outside shots that, you know, that last one right on the shot clock really forced. And then they are running. They are running it down their throats and really looking at attacking in transition. Well... Kim Danby, she's 33 now. Looks more like she's at the beginning of her career, not the end of her career. She's taking all the responsibility at the start of this third quarter. Isn't she impressive? Oh. I, I, I really like watching her play. I like her demeanor on the court. Uh, absolute. Just a superstar for Korea. Davidson hasn't had a touch for a long time. Sets the ball screen and repositions. Ledger Walker leans back, doesn't get it to go. And, and those were the shots in the first half that were dropping every single one of them for, for New Zealand. Kang, quick release for three. Wow, it. wow. And New Zealand take the quick time out. It's back to single digits. And the Korean, of, Korean team out of that locker room are at a different pace, a different level. And New Zealand take the time out. Well, they've really quickly knocked off seven points. So Guy Malloy is going to have a chat to his team now and just settle things down. Okay. Now, we said that they would make runs, so there's no issue, right? That's a really good shot in the lane. Okay. Play to make sure we find our spacing, and those shots are going to keep coming out of the corners. So we've got to back ourselves and take those. Now, T, you become the one. Okay, you go to the two. Now, when we set this first screen, and this guard's trying to shoot over, sorry, under, make sure we set this up really well when we come over with the zone, and then you've got to be active, then roll into the under. And if five, if their five sits really low, really explore this window. So when the guard comes off, I want you to see the ball. Okay. Right, when we kick it, second side, be a threat. If there's nothing there, we come to here. Charlize or Stella, freeze that player and then kick back to the third side and we'll play out of that. We want to get our feet in the paint and then kick out for passes. Shots will present. Now defensively, we've got to go back to our discipline and effort on things. Right? I mean, coach said during the timeout, they're still getting good looks. Yeah, well, and he's happy with those. And, yeah. and so you, you have to... You have to tell your players, you've got to keep shooting those. You know, those are the ones we want. you got to back yourselves. Well, they backed themselves for the whole first half. They shouldn't be doubting themselves now. And as Coach Malloy said, they talked about the fact that Korea would get runs. Well, that's a run. They've got to stop that run right now. To appear on the penetration. Went a bit soft, moves it on. Ledger Walker. That'll be a reaching foul. 
You have to say, though, Korea have come out with different energy this half, and certainly even in that zone, you can see the center, number seven, Jisoo Park, has come a little bit higher, so that area doesn't look as open as it is. But I like what they're doing as far as just the ball pressure they're putting on New Zealand right now. Davidson has to release the pressure. Tabir has it. Reed releases. Beck. What a under four on the possession. Tabir's going to have to manufacture one. Spins, little move, and blows the layup. And they had a shot at the ring and blew it, and career in transition again, and the pace builds. Early pick and roll. Park will go deep. Doesn't get it. Reed trying for all she can, but she's outsized and out physical in the block. So one thing Korea's doing now, that which they really didn't do a lot of in the first half, is that high pick and roll, forcing a switch. Then there's a mismatch. Park's just rolling down every time with a, with a mismatch on it. So it makes it much more difficult for New Zealand. Great execution. The open three is long. Tapir and Davidson combine just about to clear up the mess. And Tapir's just about breaks the timeline. And moves it on. Reed, quick reach, rip through. The open for Ledger Walker is no good. And they can't buy one at the moment. Kim stops. And just a miscommunication with uh, Anne Hersey. As soon as it left her fingertips, she knew. Come back, ball. But again, it's one of those, all right, we turned it over, but the tempo is where Korea want it to be. They've already cut this to a single-digit game. Well, in, in that almost five minutes, New Zealand have only scored three points. Yep. Reed. Finally gets it in the high post. Steps through, has it knocked away. And they commit to the break. Numbers down the floor again. Open three in transition is good. Ursu Kung just no problem setting her feet and getting that shot off. Reed. New Zealand trying to stay with what worked. They just haven't made a, sh they haven't made a shot yet. And Dalton tries to keep it alive, but uh, the ball will go back to Korea. I don't think that's quite the answer to take a really early shot at the, uh, you know, from the three-point line. It's one of those ones, you know, nothing's dropping, and you feel that little bit of scoreboard pressure now, and, and I'm open, I'm going to shoot it. And who comes up with a play? Davidson. Just breaks it up, great gets flag. it back, gets the two, and it's all about Davidson. Great give and go, great hustle by Davidson. Charlie's getting it, passing it straight back to Davidson as she drives to the basket, cuts to the basket. Helps this team in so many ways. Park has it across the three-point line, hands it off. Dan B for three is way off, but Park's trying to clean up on the glass, and that's going to be a held basketball. Possession error favors New Zealand. Penina Davidson, not working, can't score. What does she do? Comes up with some defense. Just a phenomenal performance. Timeout for Korea. They trail 46 to 38, but have all the momentum.
you know, in transition, feet set, get a shot up quickly. I, what I like about Korea right now, as soon as they get possession of that ball, you can just feel the energy as they're running in that transition offensively. Well, just some specific points made in that last timeout. We'll see if they can. Smart play by Charlize Ledger Walker. Read the defense really well. They were taking away her passing lane, so she just went right up the middle. Nice, easy pull up. Well, they've managed to go consecutive baskets for the first time in this half. Park has it, goes to the middle, is fouled by Reed. That'll be Reed's second foul on Park in this uh, quarter. And she's doing all she can do. She's trying she to compete. She's just not big enough, and Park's just that good. Park has 10 points right now, eight rebounds. And that's a bad game in terms of her first half. She was very frustrated and showed a lot of experience the way she's come out in this second well, half. Would you remember her first two foul shots? She, the, you know, shot both, neither went in. Yeah. Now she looks very comfortable. Oh, there you go. Sorry well, about that. There you go. That's <laughs> the one guarantees we can curse anybody. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Davidson again, just when you need her. Ball's knocked away, 11 seconds on the possession. But that's just an example of how much more active Korea are right now. They're just getting their hands. They're working on deflections. Davidson. No rest for Davidson. The pressure out of bounds. She comes to get it. Foul. As that looked more like the first half. Davidson and Ledger Walker combining. Taking responsibility. Ledger Walker draws the contact. Well, the thing is, is New Zealand isn't a prolific three-point shooting team, so they need to find ways and means against this zone to at least penetrate. Maybe they then kick it out to a shooter, but you can't just have constant passing on the perimeter. Tapia has it. Plenty of time. Ten on the possession. Hits the rever ball reversal. Reed. Nice kick. Dalton for three. Is short. And Korea have a chance again to eat into this lead. Park Ji-hun has a look. Great pass, super screen, beautiful layup. Reed just about recovers. Ledger Walker's gonna be fouled and the official calls it before it gets even messier. Well, we talked about at halftime how we were so surprised that that Korea had not let New Zealand get 41 points, but that they did have 41 points. And you can see that was really addressed at halftime, just their energy levels and what they're doing now defensively and their endeavor has increased immensely. So 15 seconds on the possession. New Zealand on the sideline. They look so good with Ledger Walker with the ball, Davidson calling things. This zone has just uh, disrupted them a little. Still have, you know, still have the seven point lead. It's just been Korea's quarter at the moment. Ledger Walker needs a pass, finds one, Dalton. Five on the possession, Reed outside. Davidson, dark pucks, breaks it up. And here come Career again. Park will hand off. It turned down the three and gets her feet set and wow. fills it up from deep. I like the way Hey. He Her Chi An is playing. She's doing it at both ends. She's bringing a lot from that bench. Dalton drops it inside. Davidson with the easy finish. Smart by Dalton on the penetration. Good steadying basket for New Zealand. Oh, well, Lee with a, <laughs> a, a big, a big gather step. 
Park to the corner, doesn't get it. Great cut to the high post. And Park is just, just unstoppable on the glass in the third quarter. Ooh, Davidson did everything she could then. I think that's a fourth foul on uh, Ledger Walker. Yeah. She's going to have to sit. Maureen is going to sit. Ledger Walker is... They were already making the other substitution. Ledger Walker stays. Six-point game for New Zealand, 146 in the third. Trying to weather this storm. Great execution again. And the foul on the three-point shot. Wouldn't mind seeing a replay of it. Well, I think it's a, it's what we call a, a gate play, where she, she cuts across the court and her two players close the gap, making it difficult for the, the defense to get through. And she, she just got there late and fouled the three-point shooter. Well, Beck's going to sit. She's on four as well. So Crystal Ledger Walker in the game. So New Zealand's foul issues mounting, two on four. And Korea Kang again misses from the three throw line. We see number 12, Heron Lee, on the court now. to make it a four-point game. Don't forget, it was double digits at the half, and this quarter has belonged to Korea. Ledger Walker will advance it. Dalton, Ledger Walker again will take the ball screen. He's got to be aggressive off this screen, just wraps the pass. Reed attacks the closeout, he's blocked. Park gets another positive stat. New Zealand fight for it, there's only four on the possession. That career have it, and they're running again. Kang drops it inside. Nice pass, but they just mishandle it. Lee for the long two is no good. And if you want to find out how to box out, just watch <laughs> Davidson. <laughs> New Zealand just needs something they want right now. Korea really picking it up, forcing them into having to make shots they don't really want to take. Dalton, far side wow. of the ring, tough finish. And then stays with the play, gets the deflection, but uh, ball will stay with Korea. Well, we know how she came on in the first half off the bench and had a real impact, and she's she's needed out there now with the, the guard foul, the foul trouble for some of the guards for New Zealand. Park, one-on-one -on -one with Davidson. Steps to the far side, and Davidson says, not here. This is where I live and I work. I'm not sure who's more tired out of the two of them. <laughs> Davidson, 27 points, nine rebounds right now. Sorry, sorry I was looking at efficiency. Davidson, 19 points. Kane can't My get mistake. the tough three to go. That's an effort by Park. That is a phenomenal effort by Park. He's on the floor, grabbing it. It doesn't matter how big a star you are, you've got to do the hard yards, and that's exactly what she did there. Had no right to get that one. Well, 198 centimeters she is, and we've seen her on the floor a few times going after. That is impressive especially when things weren't going well for her in that first quarter. Yep. Sort of picked it up a bit in that second quarter and has been absolutely influential so far in this third quarter. Well, if she's hitting the floor, you better hit the floor Absol if you're on her team. That's for sure. She's the release out of bounds. And now they've got a mismatch. Park recognizes it. Davidson helps. Well, if there's a pitcher that sums up the game, that's it. Those two, two. going at it. <laughs> Davidson. 
Davison just obviously if, if you're going to dive on the floor I'm going to dive on the floor this is what it takes well there was a you know a switch and a mismatch again and she saw that her teammate was in desperate trouble so she's helping down and both of them hit the deck New Zealand up six got to try and get one are they going to get it away Reed attacks it. Don't think she's going to get it. Get it. Stars going to say didn't get it away. Reed had the chance, gave it up. But New, but New Zealand have they weathered the storm? Well, temporarily perhaps, but they lead this one at the end of three. And there's the confirmation: 52-46. Career on the way back. New Zealand trying to resist. They lead it 52-46. Well, look at the three-point shooting from Korea now, up to 35%, which is much more like we would expect. And for New Zealand, well, they've been forced to take 10 shots because in that, against that zone, they are really containing that inside area and forcing them to, to shoot some outside shots. Uh, yeah. The one thing that won't probably get really shown too much in these best plays is how much you've said it all the way through that third quarter how much better career were all the physical bits defensively just their physical effort was just so much better it up and it changed the way that new zealand had to play and they haven't quite adjusted to that that zone has been you know they were able to penetrate it we talked about in that first half how they were still finding driving lanes in that zone that hasn't happened this quarter at all. They were locked down defense and forcing them to shoot much more outside. When they did get a couple of give and goes like that and they got to the basket, that's what New Zealand likes. And they, they still need to continue to do that. They need to work together, Ledger, Walk, or, uh, Ledger Walker and, and Davidson. But Korea were on another level. I thought the way defensively we talked about, but offensively, they pushed the ball every opportunity they got it to open players they were confident shooting the three wow hitting the deck jisoo park their biggest player their superstar and as you said if she hits the deck everybody should hit the deck well there's that court side 1891 uh qr code take a picture of it scan it and uh, get it on your phone get it on your laptop whatever device you want to use if you want to watch or see highlights or find out anything around basketball around the world that's and if you want to see all the games here get that app well we talked about the defense and you can tell that they scored 41 points to half time and in that third quarter korea only allowed them a measly nine points so we are in for a great fourth quarter who can adjust can can new zealand try and crack the zone a little bit more or will con korea continue their momentum that they had in that third quarter well, we're going to find out. Ten minutes remain. Fourth quarter of game one on day one here in Sydney. And Korea, who came into this game heavy favourites, had their backs to the wall at the half and led by Park have really responded. That's going to be a push. And New Zealand are becoming a little bit foul prone right now. Well, they're really trying hard to get through some screens. That high screen by, by number seven, uh, Jisoo Park, is you could see Tupaya trying to get through it because you don't want to go under because they'll just stop and prop and shoot it. Uh, and that's where a couple of fouls have come from. Well, yet another New Zealander on four fouls. And they, they may have to go deep to the bench if they're going to try and hold on to this one. Kim Danby, they go inside, Park faces, has the mismatch again, but great help. Super help by uh, Ledger Walker, went early and really did change the shot. Tapia looks to hit the second side, here's Dalton. Korea just forcing him that little bit further out. Ledger Walker, he's got to look to be a threat on that play. To Pierre, no time on the clock. Drops it into Davidson for two. Patience is an understatement. You know the saying, patience is a virtue. Yeah, well, that certainly, certainly was the case right then. Kim Danby, feet set for three, is short. And To Pierre just collects. 
And Crystal Ledger Walker's got to back herself a little bit here. Gets to the elbow, stops and pops and knocks it down. She heard you, Mark. She heard you say you've got it, and you've got to do that. That's the one that's been open, and that's the one that they've got to take. Well, little sister did it. So. Why can't I? Yep. Time out for career, and that's a great start. Re-establishing the two-digit lead. Let's see uh, what career think about it. Well, they're going to have to do it all again. They got it back to four, and there it's back out to ten. And you've got to be so impressed with the way New Zealand have dealt with that problem at the start of the fourth. Absolutely, and there, there's a lot of this quarter left, and it's really important that that New Zealand don't go into a shell, that they still play assertively, and, and that you play to win, not play to not lose. And there's a real difference mentality-wise. Absolutely. Here comes Korea after that timeout. You'd hope they get what they want. Can goes inside. Park. Well, the pass was there. The option was there. Just didn't execute the pass. Still, perhaps she could have gone one on one. Here's Ledger Walker. Maybe that uh, made two will give her the confidence. Here, here's that ball screen, little gap to penetrate into, but gets a little deep, has to pull it out. Dalton. That's a travel. I have a little bit of sympathy for Coach on that one because it's a very <laughs> similar action that both teams are employing, but that's the second, I think, in the whole game we've seen the travel. Just over eight to go, 10 point game for New Zealand. Park has it in the block. That matchup is defining the game. Park goes to work, steps through, second move off the glass. Davidson clears up the mess and comes down with a defensive rebound. And again, she just forced the tough shot. Here will hit Dalton. Three point two seconds left on the possession. Korea really sticking back in themselves in that zone. Well, Clarissa Ledger Walker comes back in with the four fouls, but I think. Coach Muller has to do it. I agree. I, I think you've got to roll the dice, and there's no point in, 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 in a game like this where you've got that 10-point margin where you want to keep. You've got to, you, you've got to back your player that, that she's going to do the right thing because she's just been so important to this New Zealand team. Oh, she's straight off the bench, has to fire up the half-court shot. Maybe that's why she got subbed. <laughs> <laughs> So he off the ball screen, turned down the pull up, goes to Park. Okay, it's a reaching foul, and Tapia will take no further part as she picks up her fifth. And Beck will come back. A, someone goes out on five, replaced by someone on four. 
and they've just got to be smart now. Sideline possession. Park Ji Hun will inbound the basketball. Lee has it, drops it in. Park at the high post. Action away from the basketball. There's only three on the possession. Has to take the tough two. He's short. And Reed will collect and will advance the basketball. Oh, a little shake and turns it over. I don't think anyone was on the same page. No. Kang gets to the far side, down the lane for two. Nice finish, great decision. And that'll be a New Zealand basketball. Certainly you don't want to get that ball stuck in the corner there. And, and Korea did a good job of doubling that and trying to be effective and not letting it release and come back out the top. Beck will come off the stagger, but uh, a little too easy. That's a five second call. Uh, no, they've, uh, they've said that the, the Korean defender stepped over the line. It was close to a five second call. It was very close, yeah. yeah. Step over the line in the last two minutes, it's an automatic tech. That's right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He's warned them for it anyway, so it should be an automatic tech if anyone else does it. A little bit better on the execution. Reed releases. Ledger Walker stops, pops, doesn't get the roll. And Park gets another positive stat. So he, Lee is doing a good job of pushing that ball and, and checking out what's available to her. Oh, beautiful pass. Park down the middle for two. Timeout, New Zealand. The little 4-0 run cuts it to a six-point margin. Little mis miscommunication there on that last one. She'll never see an easier bucket than that, and that's why Guy Malloy's called a timeout straight away. My second timeout. As we see a replay down the lane. Okay. Now we have to dig in. There's a long way to go here, right? Yep. On the middle pick and roll where they're dribbling, like they get the hand off and they're dribbling over the top here. Right? That that's a clear red on that yep. play there. It's yep. a red. You've got to switch to kill, and the guard's got to go underneath. Everyone else is way out of here. The ball is coming. This way, the MIG is on the two side. That girl's got to get in so they don't get an easy roll. It's not the player behind. Okay, we go to cross. We go to cross. Be alert to be in the MIG because we can't give them easy rolls. So we need to talk the red, get the guard underneath so there's no rolls, and be ready to rotate. Now, hey, we're in the cross. But we've got to look for the boomerang passes and then back into the free throw again. Big, you've got to keep moving as tight as what you are. Okay. All right, we're all right. Big shots coming. It's nice of him to coach to recognize how Davidson might be tired. <laughs> <laughs> as tired as she is, she's got to keep moving. She is. She's unbelievable the contribution she's made so far. And six minutes to go. This is a really important possession right now out of this timeout. You, you were able to set something up. We heard Coach Guy Malloy call for a set play. Dawn turns down the high post entry. Reed has it, puts it on the floor to the corner. Beck goes back to Reed, lines it up, stops and pops, doesn't get it to go. Gets her own rebound though. That's an effort foul on the play. And you cannot say enough great thing. Both teams in the second half, but New Zealand the whole game, their absolute commitment and effort to the glass has been phenomenal. How is this, Mark, for our first game, game one on day one, and the, the quality, the intensity, the endeavor that we're seeing from both teams? Gosh, how are they going to make it through the whole tournament? Uh, how are we going to make it? <laughs> <laughs> Deflected. It's so great to see, though. It's it's 
It's an honor, you can tell, to, to be wearing their uniforms, their country's uniforms. They want to represent. They want to get as high as we can. We know how important this game is to both teams, and they are leaving everything on the court right now. Lee Haran is uh, given the technical because she stepped over the end line after the warning. So if you're New Zealand right now, you won't care how you get points. So no. important that they make the, the free throw which they don't, but they will have possession of the basketball at the end line. 5.43 to go, New Zealand. I won't say trying to hang on, but because they've got to be aggressive, as you say, but... Uh, Danby Kim's back on the court. Seven points to her name so far. Going to go long against that st stack at the high post. Both Ledger Walkers in the game. We see Davidson just struggling a little bit. Looks like her calf. Great rebound by uh, Crystal Ledger Walker. Just hunted the space. Ledger Walker with five on the possession. Davidson high. Goes back to Ledger Walker. He's going to have to put this up. up. Gets it to go for three. What a big time bucket for Charlize Ledger Walker. Fearless. Kim Danby. Davidson's not going to get a feet outside the keyway. They're going to stay with the mismatch. Penetration to the far side of the ring for two is good. Super recognition. Park gets it. Reed drops it inside. Davidson is fouled and will have to earn them from the free throw line. And she is limping. She is. I saw her pull a, a you know, lean over and, and was massaging her calf at one stage. So, I, you know, hopefully it's just a cramp just because of how much she's played. But what I liked about New Zealand in that last possession was there was a, a pass inside, a kick back out, and then a penetration by Reed and, and a nice little dump to Davidson. That's what they need to do against the zone. Davidson misses the first. Free throws are going to become crucial in these last four minutes or four and a half minutes. Neither team. Six from 11 right now, New Zealand. Seven, seven from 12. Lee Sohi hands it off. Park. Deep, inside out. Kim Danby for three. Got it! That's it, isn't it? Pick your poison. Try and double team down low on Jisoo Park and then have a great three-point shooter outside. This Korean zone gets more aggressive with every made hoop. Ledger Walker gets into that little scap, stops and pops. And Korea have a chance to cut this to a two-point game. Or a three-point game with a layup. And Kim Danby hits the three, then gets out on the break and finishes the play at 33. Very impressive. Four minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and she was sprinting down the court. And they turn it over. Chance to tie it or cut it to one. Trowel three, wide open for the ties. No good. And Davidson just boxes out, but the ball will go or stay with Korea. New Zealand trying to claim it's an over the back, but uh, Park, Park Jisoo has the double-double. 60 to 57. 3.36 to go in the fourth. Korea with a chance to tie it. Almost get a five-second call. Kim Danby, her time now. Nice oh, pass. Oh, what a pass. And one. Park Ji Su will go to the free throw line to tie the game with 3.30 to go. That was an incredible pass. Great penetration by Danby Kim and then just a little over the shoulder, up in the air. Thank you very much to her teammate, Ji Su Park. For the tie. And we've got a new ball game. 3.30 to go in the fourth. 
And now, how much do New Zealand believe? Reed will move it on. This zone is just draining the life out of that New Zealand offense. Reed just about holds on. Davidson has it knocked away. Kim Dambi will bring it and reverse it and get it back. Put it in the hands of the experience. Comes off the screen. Needs a pass, finds a pass. Getting an offensive foul away from the ball. Uh, At least show he just right in front of us. Just a resigned sort of oh, she grimace. <laughs> yes. So he leaves. She hasn't scored a basket yet. That would have been her first. Well, Korea were trying to uh, review that. Yeah. They have to be very careful what they challenge now because there's only certain things you can. But with 2.57 to go, yeah, it's, I didn't think as a, as yeah. a, as a foul in that situation. It's not, it's, no, it's not a fact as such. New Zealand with the ball. 2.56 to go, a chance to retake the lead. Ledger Walker, who's been sensational. But they're being forced so far out that they can't really threaten the hoop. Ledger Walker comes off the ball screen, gets that little whole second move. Wow. Oh, what wow. a move. What a little inside out and straight to the basket. Ledger Walker, two point lead now for New Zealand. And why wouldn't she take it at 21? Park comes off that screen. Park to shoot. They miss her on the inside. Big mismatch inside. And they're going to foul off the ball and they have to foul though, otherwise it was going to be... Automatic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. And to be fair to Crystal Ledger-Walker, she tried in a basketball way to stop her getting the ball, so there was no chance of it being called unsportsmanlike, but New Zealand with a two-point lead. Korea with a new full team. Again, same mismatch. Who goes hard to the middle and kicks. Just about recovered. Little floater for two is no good. And Reed cleans up the mess. And Ledger Walker will advance the basketball. Last two minutes. And New Zealand with the basketball. Beck goes high. Davidson, who's running on fumes at the moment. Ledger Walker stops and pops way off. Wants the foul, but... Uh, was a little ambitious. There may well have been a block, but the three officials look at each other, believe they have the right call, which is all that matters. Yeah, I think that was definitely the right call on that replay. It didn't look like any uh, any touch. 146, Korea with the basketball down two. Lee Sohi into the half court. Kim Danby, Park wants, doesn't get. They're going to go. They turn down the pick and roll. Kim Dandy for two. Heads up play. It is. She, she's, you know, she's just done it over and over this game. Come up with big baskets when they're needed. Ledger Walker off the ball screen, gets into the keyway. That's going to be a foul on a reach. And New Zealand will be on the free throw line. And this could become a free throw shooting contest now with 1.17 to go. Both teams in the penalty. And, you know, we always talk throughout any game how important foul shots are. And, and you know, at the beginning when they miss a few, you sort of go, oh, but it is so important. None more so now when it's tied up and to get that little bit of a lead. Ledger Walker makes the first. Confident stroke. This to give New Zealand a two-point advantage with 1.17 to go. Just to remind you, a lot of foul trouble for the team in black. Two for two. 
when she needed him. And Korea take their final timeout with 1.17 to go down two. Let's take a look inside the timeout. But I've got to ask you, do you want to advance it or do you want to go to full 24? Well, I think you would, I think, I think because of the speed which with they can bring it up, and, and New Zealand haven't been playing real full court pressure, that you probably could use that 24 second clock. Then again, you might want to draw up a play easier from the from the sideline in the front court. This is where the coaches are really tested. Because certainly for, for New Zealand as well, they've got that hard decision of pick your poison. If it goes inside, are you going to double down and try and get it out of Jisoo Park's hands? With the idea that she could well and truly kick it out to some three-point shooters, and you're only up by two right yeah. now. And crew have done a real well. I don't know if they have done a great job, but they've done a better job as the game's gone on, recognizing the mismatch and giving it to to Park on the inside. But I don't know how productive it's been in terms of providing points. So they are advancing the ball. So that'll mean 14 seconds on the shot clock. Career have no timeouts now. I suppose they wanted to advance it as well because if they miss, that gives them more time to defend and come back and score again. Career have been good out of bounds, especially as the game has developed. And why wouldn't you put it in uh, Kim Danby's hands? Oh, nice pass. Easy two. Great execution of that play. Kim Danby has been just sensational, just with decisions. Beck will hand it off. Davidson. There's a walker. Second move. Needs a pass. Finds one. Wants it back. Gets her feet set, doesn't knock it down. Davidson's on the glass. The ball will go back to New Zealand and again. Now they can review that. If they believe it's incorrect, the New Zealanders look really adamant that it was their basketball. Don't you love it when a situation like that, the ball goes out of bounds, 10 players on the court are all pointing in the direction of their team. So it's a, it's a, a factual, so they're going to review it. No, just IRS. Just a, a referee. Referee IRS. So if we can get any baseline angles, that would be great because we can have a better view. Ready for a baseline angle. Hang on, hang on. We can't tell from there. Baseline angle, please. Baseline angle. We can't tell from that angle, yeah, unless we have a baseline angle. The baseline angle is the only one uh, from the Korean end is the only one that's going to help us if we have it. There's if, nothing else. If they don't have that angle, they have to stay with where they are. They can't change it. It's surprising they have no uh, baseline camera. So based on that, we cannot change it. Hang on, baseline's coming. You can baseline angle. Oh, they have one. Yeah. And that just, just, can we roll it back, please? Just so we can see, is there any, we, it doesn't look like we can see too much. Keep going. Mm. So left the, hand. The, the, what's that? Left, left hand. Is there. I, I what do you think? What forever? Uh, why it's, why it's hit it out? I don't think there's enough evidence to overturn your original call. Ah, okay. Because so, it, 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 we, we can't no, see the we, we can't overturn that based on that. So we go with uh, New Zealand ball. Yeah, New Zealand. That's okay. Let's go. That's their only option with the camera angles they didn't have. 
This is going to be a huge call. 64-64, New Zealand score out of bounds. And that's why these refer referees are high quality referees are chosen for these situations because it's pressure. A lot at stake here with 45 seconds to go. 64-64, 14 second reset. New Zealand with the basketball. Get it in, Reed will hand it off. Ledger Walker needs it and has it. A little two man game. Ledger Walker has a takes. Needs a pass, finds a pass, Beck attacks it, drops it inside. Davidson is blocked, doesn't get the roll. And Korea will get the rebound and they get it back. And Davidson puts down the two. Korea don't have a timeout. Unbelievable the way that they had it. They lost it, they had it, and then lost it. And Davidson, after missing from two feet, cleared all the mess up and gives New Zealand a two-point advantage. Just have a look. Wow. Oof. Still, I mean, 26 seconds. Wow, could we see our first overtime game, Art? Because the thing for New Zealand right now is they cannot let them have any three-point shots. They've got to take away that the three-point shot. If they absolutely have to, give them a two, but do not let them have a three-point shot. Well, Guy Malo still has a, Malay still has a timeout, so he's, he's going to have enough time to get a shot as long as they secure the rebound. If they concede, he's still going to have enough time to get a shot. And he's, uh, he's discussing that with the official at the moment. I think the floor is dry. They wanted to make sure that uh, there was no moisture. Korea down two. 26 seconds remain. Two second differential between possession and shot. New Zealand up the floor, do not need to and don't really want to foul. Into the half court, Korea to tie or lead it by one. In the hands of Kim Danby, and why not? Park, Kim Danby on the floor, get to the middle and kicks. They turn down the three. Now Kim Danby for the lead is no good. Park, what a rebound, Davidson clears it out. And the referees will blow the jump and the ball will go to New Zealand. Time ran on after the, the officials. There will be time to go back onto the clock, I'm pretty sure. That was such a good shot by Danby Kim. It was, it was wide open, just didn't, just didn't go down. And New Zealand able to secure that rebound. Oh my goodness, what a finish. Love, love to see the rebound again. If there's time left, but I think the referee's going to check check the whole thing of when the whistle blew. Let's take a listen. So we're looking for the red light if that happens first. What possession is it? Is it black possession? Okay, that's fine. Referees made it to a guy working out whether we've got anything left on the clock. Yes, I believe it is some time. Just go back. Can we just slow that down, please? Slow down that entire play. Just so we can see the clock. Can we see the clock at all? We need an angle. We need an angle on the clock. Yes, yes. No, when it actually occurs. I think it's at point three or point, point three or point four. 
just go back. Can we go back and do it really slowly? Yeah. Okay, really slowly from this point onwards. Really slowly from this point onwards. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, point three or point four, roughly point four. Point, point four, point four. So we're going to go with point four seconds back on the clock. Uh, with New Zealand ball down on the baseline with the okay. possession. Yes. Okay. Your ball. Yep. All right, just so to clarify for you, point 0.4 of a second being re-put back onto the clock. It will be a New Zealand possession. And coach will take a timeout and advance it because that almost 99% will guarantee it for New Zealand. Wow. What, what a, a, what a oh. rebound by Davidson. She's played every single second of this game. I'm not sure she'll be able to suit up again after this. She looks sore. She would be tired. But what a phenomenal game she has played. Stella, you take the ball out of bounds. Tarah, stand at the foul line here. OK. Um, Taylor, you stand there. Charlize, sorry, Crystal, you stand there. Charlize, you're there. Stella's the four, taking it out of bounds. Okay, I want Crystal to go over and set a screen for Charlize. Sorry, make that Taylor set a screen for Charlize. Crystal, you're going to come across, hold your player at the block, and then you're going to lead out looking for the ball. Uh, if there's no pass, just hold on to it. But, but sorry, no, throw the pass. Even if it's a turnover to Crystal. Yeah. Now, Charlize, you come high. Tarai, you flash hard to the ball. So go to Crystal first. Tarai second. Charlize third. Hey, throw the ball in so that it's a touch and the time will go. But do not foul. Let it go. Well, uh, there's, there's not many ways New Zealand could lose it from here. But while there's time, there's always hope. They'll inbound it. Beck will have it. Throw it at a player. Whatever <laughs> happens. Just have to touch it. <laughs> just a touch. Doesn't matter who it is. Throw it towards the, the basket at a player. Yeah. A prayer is all that Korea have right now. If they get it in, he said get it. That's game. And that it. is an amazing win for New Zealand. They came out and established control, and somehow they've managed to withstand a great comeback from Korea to win this game one on day one of this Asia Cup for women. And they get the 66 to 64 win and take a huge step in this competition. Well, we said right from the beginning, we didn't want, if New Zealand planned on going anywhere in this game, they couldn't take a backward step. And they certainly showed that when the pressure was on in this first quarter, fourth quarter, they held steady. That is a massive win for them. Well, 66 to 64 are normally the only numbers that really matter, but we're gonna get a look at the stats. And Laurie, I, I just, that's just a tremendous New Zealand performance. It is, and 50% and two points, and a lot of them, they took only 14 three-point shots. Foul shooting for neither team was great, and that was so crucial down the end, but look at the rebound count for New Zealand. Out-rebounded them by four, which is an incredible stat. But oh, Davidson, 24 points. I, I, the battle between her and Park was worth the admission fee alone. Well, 24 points, 10 rebounds she got as well. She was just uh, phenomenal. Well, these, these highlights, it's, it's going to reflect just a great start to both halves by New Zealand and then a spirited, tremendous comeback by Korea. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything apart from giving New Zealand and a huge advantage, but... We have to say that the first half was, was really New Zealand's way. I, I think Korea fought back a little bit at the end, but... And then the third quarter was just all Korea's quarter. They yep. had the momentum, they had the run, they were getting some good baskets in transition. We noticed that they just up their intensity defensively and, and, and New Zealand all of a sudden, when shots were dropping before, all of a sudden against that zone, they were coming 
much harder to come by and, and Korea was doing a great job at being much more disruptive there. And then that sort of led to their run offensively. And what a last couple of minutes we had just back and forth. Well, the other issue for New Zealand, obviously, was their foul trouble. And Ledger Walker, pole full, most of the fourth quarter on four fouls. Well, their guard rotation was really restricted when they had those four fouls. Tupaya got uh, fouled off and, and had to, you know, Ledger Walker, as you said, played limited minutes until the very end. And, and she was instrumental in this game as well. They needed her on the court. And she, between her and Davidson in that two-man game that they were able to play, uh, really held steady in that end. Well, it's, it's obviously a relatively short uh, rotation that Coach Malloy has. And uh, the other question there is, you know, how, what do they have to do to get Davidson to be able to walk tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure who they play tomorrow, whether it's China or, or Lebanon. But either way, she will be straight into an ice bath, I yep. think, because um, she will be sore. And, and hopefully we saw her that she was just cramping up. But um, what a game she played. And the other player I have to mention, besides their superstar, uh, Jisoo Park, how impressive was Danby Kim? Oh. You know, you've mentioned 33 years old. She just was going after everything. There's that last shot that she just missed. Um, but she was great with what she brought, the energy, both ends of the court, and just her smarts. Well, that's what it means after one game, New Zealand. And that win could be crucial. They win this one 66-64. China and Lebanon up, up next. And uh, make sure you stay tuned for that one. But from Laurie and I, it's goodbye from day one, game one of the Asia Cup. <laughs>